Ammonium nitrate was the chemical that led to Beirut's huge warehouse explosion. No, no. It's a common industrial chemical, but has a history of destruction. Often used in fertilizers and in quarrying and mining, ammonium nitrate is considered relatively safe if uncontaminated and properly stored. But it can be extremely dangerous, especially when mixed with fuel. A large quantity can trigger an explosion if exposed to intense heat. The larger the quantity, the higher the risk of detonation. In Beirut, 2,750 tonnes were stored without any apparent safety measures. Experts say it could be one of the largest non-nuclear explosions in history. Ammonium nitrate explosions have certain characteristics shown in the footage. Initial white-grey smoke indicates white ammonium nitrate fumes. The subsequent explosion released a shockwave mushroom cloud and red-brown smoke comprising of nitrous oxide. It wasn't the first of such incidents. Some of the world's deadliest industrial accidents evolved ammonium nitrate. In 1921, an explosion at the Opal plant in Germany killed 565 people. In 2015, explosions at a warehouse in the Chinese port of Tianjin killed at least 116. Ammonium nitrate can be used intentionally as an explosive too. When mixed with other substances, the chemical can form a bomb. It was used by the Irish Republican Army bombings in London in the 1990s. The 1995 bombing of a federal building in Oklahoma City and the 2002 blasts in Bali nightclubs. Many of the homemade bombs used against US troops in Afghanistan contained ammonium nitrate. Uh, but there's still an, an enormous IED threat out there. In the case of Lebanon, experts have said if it was intentionally mixed as an explosive, it wouldn't likely have the red-brown plume. That lends weight to the likelihood that it was a tragic accident.